Hi everyone, happy Halloween. Today is Halloween, obviously. I went so today I'm just going to film me getting ready um, to go out for Halloween, going to party on campus here, and I'm going as Harley Quinn. So yeah, you're just gonna come along with me while I get ready. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is the hydrating one. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. today I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation in shade 0.5 and I'm going to apply this with the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in shade Fair Neutral and the Locket Cream Concealer in Whiteout by Kat Von D. I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in shade 05 Fair in this Beauty Blender and the Urban Decay Large Super Powder Brush. camera and do my eyebrows real quick just to save some time and I'll be right back to start the eyes. I'm back with my eyebrows. I also primed my eyes and set it already. So let's jump right into the eyeshadow. So I'm going to start on the blue side. Uh, so it would be this side. So first I'm going to start off by using this Urban Decay Jean Michael Bisquay eyeshadow palette and taking this shade here called Boom and applying it into my crease and slightly above the crease with this NYX Crease Blender Brush. I'm also going to put a powder shield under my eyes because fallout, I don't want my base to become blue or red, so I'm just going to do that. wiping with the big just right here because we're going to drag the eyeshadow down. I'm just going to drag it down just here. Urban Decay Smoky Crease Brush and the same palette, the shade Untitled, which is the darker blue right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing but lower and ombre it out with this one and pull it down here as well. Back 
working with the lighter blue shade, boom, and the same brush. And I'm just going to go over that and then back in with the other brush and an untitled and do that just make it seamless. Okay, so now I am going to wipe off those same brushes and start on the side. The side's not done yet because we're going to cut the crease, but I want to do this one first before we start the half cut crease. I'm going to work on the red side now. So for the red side, I'm going to start off by using the Smashbox Cover Shop Bold Eyeshadow Palette and going in with the shade Fling right here, which is the red with that NYX crease brush and do the same thing I did with that light blue on this eye. And we're going to put it on this eye. I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Serpentina eyeshadow palette and take the shade Blood Milk right here, which is a very deep red shade, on the Urban Decay Smoky Crease Brush and going into that crease just like it did over here to darken it up. So go back in with the lighter shade and do the same thing I do with this side, and then back in with blood milk just to make it seamless. So now I'm going to uh, cut the crease halfway across both lids um, using this Kat Von D Lux Concealer in shape Whiteout and the Urban Decay Flat Eyeshadow Brush. Concealer with the white shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. So, this one right here. And this Eco Tools Medium Eyeshadow Brush. It isn't working the best, so I'm gonna just go in with this Annabelle Large Eyeshadow Brush. Now, I'm gonna cut the crease on the other side too. brushes from blender brush I'm gonna go back in with those two blue shades I use on this eye and I'm just going to start with the blue lightest one this way then a little more this way over on the side the darker blue and blending it downward instead of this way if that makes sense just with those red shadows I used. Now we're going to finish off the face makeup. So I am going to contour with a mixture of the two contour shades from these palettes and applying it with the Urban Decay Contour Definition Brush. For 
blush today, I am going to take the Benefit Dandelion blush and apply it with the Urban Decay Diffusing Blush Brush. For my base highlighter today, I'm going to go in with the Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter and apply it with this small door contour brush. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay G Micro Biscuit Base Palette and taking the highlight shade called Now's the Time right here on a e.l.f. small tapered brush and I'm going to apply it that to my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow, and then to my inner corners with the Urban Decay Detailed Smudger Brush. My camera died and I charged it so while I was waiting, I just put my hair into pigtails like this and left my bangs out this. Just now continuing with the highlighter. Now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit and taking the shade Blue Ice right here on the Morphe M510 brush and the Urban Decay Detailed Smudger brush and I'm going to apply it only to this side of my face including my nose and my cupid's bow. And on the other side, taking those both those same brushes, just wiping them off, taking the shade Pink Heart. with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now I'm just going to do a very, very thin wing or attempt to with the Tarte Sex Kitten Felt Tip Liquid Liner in black just so when I put the lashes on there is no band showing and just because I want to give it a little bit of a wing. Today I am going to use the Benefit Their Real Beyond Mascara Waterproof in Black. This is just the mini and applies to my upper lashes. Now I'm going to throw in some lashes and I'll be right back. I decided to curl my hair and put color in it. Um, it's temporary so it's rubbing off my um, my skin, but it'll work for tonight. Um, but I'm back with my lashes. These are the House Lashes. I believe they're Fairy Luxe lashes. And I'm just going to put that same mascara I used on my upper lashes on my lower lashes. And for my waterline, I'm going to take these NYX Faux Whites uh, pencil liners and taking shade Linen, which is like a light pink, and I'm putting it in this waterline. And then the shade Baby Powder, which is a baby blue, powdery blue color, and putting it on this. And now for the lips, I'm going to take this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in shade Nosferatu. This is just the mini one. I'm going to apply this to my lips.
my bangs. And now I'm going to write, um, I'm going to draw the tattoos that she has on her face, the heart and rotten. For this I'm going to use this Jordan Cosmetics Waterproof Gel Liner in black and this Urban Decay Precise Eyeliner Brush. And this is the com final completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up down below. Comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.